have been asked about this many many times if I know any companies who are willing to uh, found a AGV license and now I found it yeah so DHL will found and pay for a driving license and offer you a career so go online uh, by the way this is not sponsored or anything dhl dhl.com.uk okay so there you have it uh, dhl is, is willing to to pay for your for your driving courses to get the uh, hgv license more definitely gonna be one of those contracts where you will have to stay with them for i don't know a year or two i've got no idea how does it work um, go online check them out i know a lot of you have asked me that and i um i just had no idea i've just seen it now on the back of the lorry so hope it helps so it's tuesday today tuesday evening I had a very very nice run up north today uh, all the way to carlisle and i'm heading back now i think i'm going to the docks yesterday it was a horrible day actually that um, i got held up again for six hours uh, just trying to uh, to unload the container and it took forever it took forever to start to put me on a bay but uh, once i was on a bay i was tipped in an hour but i, I had five hours of waiting time and uh, yeah people ask me if uh, you're still gonna get paid the same amount if you're gonna be in uh, waiting time or uh, on a breakdown well yeah of course you're gonna get paid the same amount a regular flat rate no matter what you do either you're gonna tip either you're in the breakdown you're earning the same amount and stuff
or more. What I might have to do is uh, dump the air before I before I touch the bay. Yeah, let's do that. You don't want to get the uh, container through the door. Okay, should be good. Oh. So just finished tipping here. And unfortunately, no new Volvos to be seen around. These are all the, uh, the classic model, the old model if you want to. Oh, there's one. I didn't see that. Anyway, it looks good. Uh, I like it that they don't change it. They haven't changed it that much. Just did something with the uh, with the headlights. But I think the real creme de la creme, it's on the inside. I've seen that. Uh, looks pretty cool. So anyway, pretty boring stuff today. Um, yeah, just going back to the yard and pretty much that's it. Friday, yeah! Been in this place for a couple of hours already. As usual, waiting for a reference. Uh, and I've been doing a bit of research online. A very simple Google companies paying for HGV training. Uh, you can find out a lot of stuff Just getting loaded now uh, So uh, Goes like this Driver agency offers to pay 5,000 pounds HGV training and apprenticeships available That was 25th of August Truck driver offering free training worth thousands to help tackle chronic driver shortage Oh Um, does the job center pay for HGV license? Um, Mr. Mike Joba said the training is free if you meet the eligibility criteria you have to be suitable for the work for instance having a driver license and in receipt or universal credit so there are actually a lot of ways in which apparently you can get your HGV license now um, either through through companies as I've said earlier um, they will pay for the um, pay, pay for your CPC or training or whatever then you will have to um, stay with them for X amount of time or I don't remember his name but um, uh, one of my subscribers actually told me that um, he receives funding from Universal Credit um, to help him um, to help him get his uh, his license. So there are possibilities. Um, I'm, I'm surprised to be honest because it's free. It's 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 great, isn't it? So go ahead. And uh, now is the time. Usually, I don't know how much it costs, but from what I've heard, it's around four, five thousand pounds. Uh, I mean, that was before the um, when you had to do the uh, class two and then the class one and then the, the CPC. So now that you don't have to do the uh, class two anymore, maybe, maybe it's just uh, it's just cheaper now. So go ahead, just Google it if you're interested. Plenty of ways um, to go. Um, to get to, to get you going. So, good luck. Please hold the T1 pad for both. Thanks a lot. Thank you. 
T1 bed Friday afternoon 12 o'clock it's empty this is unheard of so something like this is just out of the books unbelievable well, it's gonna be <laughs> uh, it's gonna be much much busier in the afternoons but I've never seen I mean I, I did see them the pads so this area right here without a queue but a long long time ago <laughs> bloody hell so which means because I'm doing the same job as yesterday right so probably I'm gonna be home a little bit earlier today this can only happen to me the crane is stuck to the container so he can't release the pin finally free <laughs> I swear it can only happen to me so the uh, the pins from the crane were stuck to the container so we just ow uh, that's a uh, that's the usual the usual sound of the containers popping and so um we just have to uh, had to raise and lower raise and lower the suspension and eventually the crane the crane gave and unlocked the uh, the container it was so fast i think lifted the box in a minute and in another two minutes they came with the uh, they came with this box this is very very unusual in C4. So here we go. Man, I miss the lockdown. Just lost one hour one hour let's see what did you do what did you possibly do so there are two fiat 500s smashed that's it i can't believe it two fiat 500s Jesus Christ <laughs> Oh my god One hour Because of two Fiat's Fuck yeah We were talking about shit wages Here it is <laughs> So we are done I like to tip here because they are they are pretty fast. Only took I don't know about half an hour or something like that. So starting my uh, long journey back home on a Friday afternoon, I know it's gonna be absolutely horrible. So I'm gonna stop this video right now before. I will bring all the negativity in the world into this video and I would like to say thank you very much for watching please consider subscribing push the like button push the share button spread the love and I shall see you next time bye